Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a second reading for you because the first reading cut off. Um, so we'll see if the same messages come up, okay? We're going to do a free form where I'll just pull some cards. Whatever comes up, comes out. Whatever I'm feeling uh, or whatever I'm hearing, I'll, I'll just say it. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, you know, just be easy. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, make sure you're commenting below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. R winners will be announced August 15th. All right. Some of you are dealing with some illness. It could be chronic. It could be something you're living with. You know, it's got you in a place of conformity and comfort. So you can't. You feel like you can't move away from maybe a certain partner, maybe a certain situation, job, because of this this ailment bottom of the deck the ace of swords so a new start by, by way of truth and clarity okay what's going on today that's the first ace of swords either you're giving this truth and clarity or you've given it to someone or you've received it but it's a new start. You can't think the same. You won't do the same thing. Not after this type of honesty, uh, communication. Um, I mean, you can try to stay in denial, but I mean, then, you know, then we'll be talking about the elephant in the room. You know, so anyhow, let's keep, let's keep going. The king of cups in reverse, the eight of cups upright, the tower. The Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups. All right. Looks like um, maybe a relationship, a long-standing one. You guys are not seeing eye to eye. It could be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you could have this in your chart. It looks like one of you is moving on. Is is has given the message that I'm looking forward. I'm looking futuristically. This is not what serves me for my future. I have to put behind this this relationship I think it comes as a shock to the other person that you want to walk away or you have walked away you have emotionally checked out because you want wish fulfillment and that is to be open loving honest caring Also, some of you need to ask for forgiveness you took someone or someone took you through the ringer in regards to um, stringing you along thinking that this would work out knowing that and your deepest, you know, thoughts, your your heart, you knew that this was not going to work out. So then you you've you've given either you Virgo or someone else has given this this truth about exactly about how they feel. Um, and it, it has caused some an emotional upset to where in an existing relationship, you guys are just not you no longer seeing eye to eye. This could be a job also. Um, definitely partnership or, or a job or somebody's leaving behind those two ones. You're, leave, you're leaving behind what you established with one other entity or party. This could be, you know, whatever you, you, um, you're leaving behind. It could be a job. But it was false in the first place, you know, um, the tower is here and it was time for it to be broken down. So a lot of this twin flame stuff is happening. A lot of people are awakening into the, the realizations that, you know, the falsehood of uh, relationships that they were in can no longer be maintained. Um, I mean, you, you can try, you can keep going, but this is, um, this is a one year for us. So we, we've got a cycle, you know, seven years is a cycle. This is the eighth year or this is a one year. You know, this this year um, pretty much uh, will, what you do this year, what you take away or what you bring in into your life will 
pretty much constitute what will happen for the next seven years. It's a cycle, you know. And of course, you'll try to over the next seven years try to break it and break out. But what you it's it's almost like the saying: how you start is how you finish. We want to start this one year off or this eighth year doing. You see how eight is walking away. Um, we want to start this this one year off doing or being the person we want to be some of people are coming out of the closet in regards to sexuality some people are waking up to the fact that what they have been doing for the last seven years a cycle has been completely unfulfilling there was discontentment there was lack there was disregard disrespect it just didn't work and now they're waking up to the fact that okay i have to do something different um I have to walk away in that eighth year so I can get wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Um, just be cognitive of that, you know, of the fact that um, what you do this year, wh what kind of changes you institute in your life, um, if it's for the good, then then possibly you can be looking at really good changes. In, in really good fortune for the next uh, you know the seven year cycle if nothing changes for you but you know you're unhappy you know that whatever you're existing in is you know, we talked about this forgiveness popped out whatever you're existing in is completely just fake it's the ten of cups sometimes the ten of cups is a mask it's um it's falsehood it's fake the ten of cups could be very real um, for for an individual, but it depends on the cards that you pull with the ten of cups. Where any reader can say, okay, this is not really the ten of cups. You're trying to make some situation a ten of cups, but it's not. In, in any event, you want to pull the ten of pentacles. It's pretty solid. Forgiveness. Some of you need to ask for forgiveness. You need to give forgiveness. Welcome to new. It's newness here for you. You know, break the cycle. Break the cycle. You've had seven years of craziness. Get some rest. Family changes. All right, somebody's moving in or out of a home. Someone's moving to a new home. Buying a home. Get some rest. You're doing a lot of work at your existing job and or end of an era. What did I say? It, it, it's so funny how I got onto this whole cycle thing. I don't even really go into that. A lot of times, not in these general readings. If you get a personal reading with me, you know, anybody who's getting a personal reading with me can tell, I'll, you know, I'll give my little spiel. You can listen to it. You can not. You can fast forward. Whatever. Um, but for you, Virgo, it's, it's almost as if you're shifting. You're jumping through uh, what some, you know, people will call the vertex. Jumping into um, realness. Jumping into realizations of what you're here for, why you're here, your life purpose what serves you and what doesn't serve you some of you have new friendships that will bring you a lot of abundance a lot of maturity and clarity this is a good friend this could be i pull a card on it anyhow forgiveness welcome to new get some rest family changes some of you are having children or children are moving in or out uh someone needs to move in with you or you need to move in with someone there's a lot of changes uh here get some rest Welcome to new forgiveness. End of an era. Something is ending for you. Whether it's relationship, romantic relationship, job, business. Something is ending for you. Um, right. It could for some of you could be job. So, something is ending for you, Virgo. And it looks really, really good. Okay. All right. So let's ask the cards. Will Virgo get wish fulfillment? Virgos get their wishes fulfilled. So how the yes or no spread works is if the middle card is reversed, the answer is no. And then we have two supporting cards that gives us a bit of clarity. If the middle card is upright, the answer is yes. Will Virgo get their wishes fulfilled? So whatever you're wishing and hoping for, Virgo, we'll put it in the cards, all right? Thank you, Heavenly Father, for true, accurate messages from you. Clarity for Virgo.
Oh, we got two cards here. Ooh. Okay, bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on here. Wow. Okay, so we have the sun upright and then strength in reverse. It's almost like a maybe, I guess. Um, the sun is here. Seeing this is the most positive card, of course. Um, some things need to be illuminated to you. Right now, some of you are a little weak. You're, you're, you're um, off emotionally. You're um, not taming yourself and you're a, in your emotions. You're all over the place because the situation has rattled you and is shaking you. So you, you're moving in a, in a sporadic way. You're trying to mask the feelings that you have for a situation or for someone by way of doing a whole bunch of stuff. And not really um, grieving the situation or and or um, really getting honest with yourself, um, processing those emotions and going over why you feel the way you feel about a certain situation. So instead of doing that and being strong and strength upright, you, it's in the reverse and you're just sporadic. You're all over the place because if you can spread yourself so thin get some rest um clarity comes with rest too if you can spread yourself so thin either energetically emotionally physically whatever then you don't have to feel anything when you come to to yourself and you come to quote unquote one with yourself you have to realize what is being said to you via self in those silent times in the silence we find the truth and you and a lot of you are just running around doing a lot of stuff because you don't want to really sit with yourself and deal with the fact that you might be settling for something that just doesn't serve you or you did settle and now it's changing now it's shifting you feel a certain way this is okay when you end something to have a rush of emotion. What's going on? You had the moon. Some secrets, some lies came out. Came out. Um, some some feelings about how a, a you know a situation is revealed now. It's no longer secret. You got the moon in reverse and the sun upright. You learned of a secret somebody was holding from you or you from someone else. The Queen of Cups in reverse. What did I tell you? All out of whack emotionally. All over the place. You can have water in your chart. You can be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got to have strength to get through this, Virgo. Now you're all over the place and you're scattered. That's not like Virgo. Gather yourself in the midst of chaos. Where was this? Is Maybe this is for you. Hang on, guys. I know we're at 13 minutes. This, but I think I, this, uh, this little uh, quote that I had, that I heard very well may be something suitable for you. He who has a plan in the midst of chaos wins. Unknown. I don't know the, the author. Maybe you do. But I'll read it again. He who has a plan in the midst of chaos wins. So Virgo, it may be chaotic for you right now. You, your emotions are all over the place. You're not taming yourself and gathering yourself and just being strong and getting through this. Um, plan, rest. And rest and retirement comes good thoughts, positive thoughts. Ending, beginning, give forgiveness or ask for forgiveness have the changes here. All right, Virgo. I hope that this resonated with you. Hope the other reading resonated with you also. That one got cut off. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. All of my information is below if you want to request a personal reading where we can uh, delve into your energy and see what's going on with you. Um, take advantage of the two question $20 reading um, over at my website. Um, Find me on Instago. I really, yeah, go to my website or send me an email. Um, <laughs> what else?
um virgo know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well it seems like it's some really heavy energy and in ending in the beginning for you and i think you you know that and you're on the cusp of that um yeah so um definitely praying for strength for you guys okay take care bye